Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. I hope you liked that little time lapse at the beginning of this episode. I am very happy this is all done. Um, and well, it's all done in terms of planning. And of course, it's nighttime. But we're just going to stay up here. It's safe up here. Um, yeah, so the town is roughly planned out. And I cannot be more thrilled about this. And we're going to definitely go down there and experience how big it actually feels. Um, it's not, as you can see, not a absolutely massive town, but it is pretty decent sized. And I think this is an interesting layout that we've got going on. Um, but you know what? Let me go ahead and sleep. Now, I haven't done any sort of work on the river or the cliff side itself. Only thing I've done is this planning. And as you can see, now that we're down here, it is much bigger feeling than uh, you may actually think. And geez, Louise, the lag. We're lagging because one, I have my render distance up a lot. Actually, let's turn that down now because we don't need it that high just needed it when we were up there um, but don't need that now and so let's go over to the bridge this is where the main entrance is going to be this is the bridge as y'all know and you can tell by the giant diagonal uh, and so the bridge entrance is like 14 blocks wide I think something like that 15 I think it's 15 blocks wide so it's quite a big bridge and you enter here and you'll be greeted with the bar right here the tavern will be like right here and this is the by far one of the bigger buildings uh which i think is good i think this is uh it, this place is going to be a decent place to travel to i think and so having a large inn slash tavern will be good um for traveling people to be able to you know get a place to stay and a drink and then the netherrack here is a means uh my means of planning out where the road is uh and so it's still it is rough it was just to give me kind of areas to work with on the buildings but as you can see this main road right here this this is like the main road that stretches all the way around and it is quite a decent width like you'll never feel squeezed this area gets a little squeezed but that's because i didn't know where the buildings were gonna go um but it goes all the way around and i mean it is a decent hike around each end and there are two two other locations that have like this um where it actually goes in and this is actually this netherrack should probably be more like there should be more like that so the road will go here go around so we've got like a main circular road and then roads that go in to sort of a square area and we're gonna have like a clock tower right here i think it's gonna be interesting probably gonna have to be bigger than this i just gen laid out a general area for it um might actually take up this entire circle i don't know um but we're gonna have like a main square area and so you can see this is about how big roughly uh, and then we're gonna have all these interior areas here are gonna be shops uh, and so I think this makes this makes sense to me. I mean, most of the shops will have living spaces up above as well. So every shop will also be the home for the shopkeeper. Um, but then we have other areas that are going to be just houses over that side. This is going to be a nice library. I think this is going to be really cool. The circle is supposed to indicate a dome roof area that extends up to let in a lot of light so we're gonna have like a nice glass dome which i think is gonna be really cool um and then that's i'm honestly this is the only building i actually have planned out as to what i want it to be one of these i want to be like an apothecary one i want it to be like almost an experience station I think potions of experience if you think fate back in like a uh, fable you can get potions of like will potions of uh strength and potions of skill um experience and that is what i'm kind of thinking for there and so maybe what we'll do is we will almost make a maybe underneath here we could make a cactus farm that is always running smelting up cactus green maybe we do that and we make it an actual experience farm 
that can be kind of cool. Now, some of you may be wondering how in the world do I plan something like this out uh, without like being able to view it and constantly like flying around. Uh, and to answer that, I want to show you my spectator count. I have a second Minecraft account that I use for camera work uh, that is always in spectator mode um, just to get a bird's eye view of things. And if we take a look at it right now, we can take a look. See, here, I'm going to go ahead and block myself off here before we uh, get going on this just because it'll probably turn night and I don't want to uh, die. And so there we go. This is roughly what I actually view when I'm building. And so you can see the sort of like an outline there um, that I, I took a screenshot exactly in this position um, before there was anything there. And then I drew out just a really, really rough sketch and the rough doodle of what I wanted in Photoshop. Um, and then in OBS, you can actually overlay an image and turn down the opacity so you can actually kind of get an idea as to what the outline or like what the image is on top of your image. And so you can see my little person running around there. And so this is all I was doing is I was just running around lining up these nether brick, uh, nether rack pieces just to find out where the roads are. And then I kind of went through and figured out where the buildings were roughly. You can see the plan definitely changed uh, on some of the buildings, but Overall, it has uh, turned out pretty nicely, and uh, the we've got a, a picture here as well to be able to showcase that I need to pull up to indicate what building is going to be what. And so here is a nice overview shot um, with all of the buildings that I put in, and I've colorized it just to indicate what is what. So these main buildings right here, these are all going to be stores of some type. I think that is this is a, a, like having a central store location area is going to be really good. So we'll have stores and stuff. The tavern is kind of a more of a miscellaneous. It's not really like a store. It doesn't have to fall in here, um, but it is a going to be some form of commerce based tavern. Um, and so that I think being a part of the stores is OK. Um, so this main area is going to be stores. That, so it's going to make up like a nice market square area. Um, and then the orange down here, these orange buildings are all going to be houses. And so this is where a lot of the general populace is going to be living. Um, and of course, we can throw in a few others. Some of these buildings may be too large for the houses we have in mind. Generally speaking, though, they're not like massive. And I didn't want to. The thing is, I don't want all these buildings to be huge. The stores can be large because they need to be at least two stories to be able to fit in the store beneath the house. Uh, so these are all going to be relatively large. These buildings, however, are just houses, so they do not need to be absolutely massive. Some of them will have interesting bits. This I'm thinking is having a tower that goes down to the farmland. Um, and then this may have like a dome roof area as well. But generally speaking, these are not going to be very large. And we can probably toss in a few of these, like maybe one here. Uh, we could put like add some spice to the to the roadway here and put one like in the middle and make the road split around it. I don't know if that would be like wise or anything, but we could do something like that. Obviously, it's throwing one here. Uh, one thing that I do want to do is you see these on the edge here. I want them to stick out and like make up a lower portion of the plateau. And so that's one of the things about this that is going to be interesting is I've laid everything out and now we're going to have to go through and figure out how we want the land to actually flow and like move and become more natural feeling because right now it is just a flat plateau and that's not what I want for this. I want this to be I want this to have height differentiation between this entire area. It doesn't need to be a lot, but it does need to be a bit more natural feeling and more flowing than just a totally flat area. And then lastly, the yellow, this is all going to be farm stuff. Wasn't sure what to put here, so I put some rough layouts. This is going to be like a main farm storage area for different things. We're going to have maybe like a crane that goes down and is picking up and storing like hay and stuff for selling somewhere. Uh, there's also going to be plenty of stalls scattered throughout. So it's not going to be like this is the only place to buy stuff. There will be stalls on the inside here, stalls on the outside as well. Um, so they're going to be some, there's going to be like lots of little stores and stuff all scattered around. Um, I just don't want to include them in this because then it just kind of takes up a lot of space. So this is going to be like storing of crops and stuff. I think that would be good. 
Um, this may be a silo. Uh, I'm thinking this could be a silo, which would be interesting uh, for like mass quantity of wheat or something like that. Uh, this will be like a beetroot farm. These two, these three areas are going to be farms. This is going to be some form of farmhouse. Uh, and same with this. And we probably can make a few more of these. I just didn't know how big this field, this field, and this field are going to actually be um, until we actually like get down there and make them. And so, and this entire platform right here, this may get bigger or smaller depending upon how much size we actually want for this area. So right now I'm thinking this is plenty, plenty big enough, um, but it could end up being that we need to have more room. I don't think we will, but it could end up that way. And then lastly, this area up here, the guild area, um, I don't know what guilds I want to put in, but if you have an idea as to what to put in these areas, I'm thinking maybe two. There could probably be three that is put in. Um, this is quite a big area here, so it doesn't have to be a, a gigantic guild, but it could be also something that's a really, really big one. Now, one thing to note, this is not the Heroes Guild. I want the Heroes Guild to be like a separate enclave outside of this town, somewhere over yonder, um, away from the town. Um, but I want some other form of guild, like uh, in Skyrim, there's the Bard's College. Could be interesting to do more of a like a diplomacy based guild. Um, of course, we could do like a mages guild. We could do a fighters guild. We could do something or a miners guild. We could do like a miners guild. That could be interesting. Make it more Minecrafty. Um, if you have any ideas for these guild things, let me know down below in the comments because I don't really have any ideas um, and I would love to put in a couple guilds here um, and then we could also put a, like a guild down below that's like a farmer's guild. Maybe that's what's on the island is like a farmer's guild or something like that. But that I think I would love to have your your thoughts on this and some ideas because I'd like to pull in some stuff. Same with shops and stuff. If there's shops that you would like to see, this is going to be a library. But other than that, Everything is open to suggestion. So anything, anything at all that you would love to see in this town, let me know because I am more than open for it. And then the last thing, these white bits are just to indicate where bridges are. This is obviously the main bridge. Then this is going to be a bridge that goes over to the lower class area, um, which will be somewhere over here. I'm not really sure. It's going to be not nearly as big as this bridge, but it's going to essentially like go across, I think connect to a middle island where there'll be like a main gate and then go across to another plateau that is probably about this big, much smaller. And then it's going to be essentially the same amount of houses, just densely packed to where the roads are essentially just alleyways and you really don't get much sunlight from like all the roof coverings. I think that could be a really, really fun concept. Uh, it'll be really difficult to uh, deal with creepers and stuff in there but i think if we just do path blocks or something as the floor then nothing can spawn actually they can spawn on path blocks can't they no they can't regardless this is going to be a lower class area over here and another plateau which i think is going to be really really fun and so that is the general layout of this town and i am super excited to start in on this um one thing today's episode what we're doing is not any sort of building we may experiment in a creative world or I may try and come up with the build style um, but that is definitely back burner type of stuff what I would like to do today is again go with the idea of how to landscape this because I think we should get the grass and like all of that laid out first before we really dive deep so what that entails is figuring out what we want the landscape to feel like when you're traveling around this entire area. And that is this is the guild section. If you're wondering how much space we have, this is the guild section. So definitely like this could be a really nice big building. Um, the guilds, I think, should be bigger buildings. And so this can actually extend over this way a bit more. Of course, they can also jut out and hang over the cliff side as well. I think that could be a really cool thing. Uh, and I definitely some of these buildings I want. Whoa. Mamma mia. Let me go and uh, I'm going to get struck by lightning, I bet. If I do, that'll be hilarious. So as I was saying, we need to figure out what we want the landscape to feel like when you're walking around. And that's mainly how do we want the terrain to kind of ebb and flow. And so it can't be all flat. That's really boring. And so we need to have areas that dip down. We need to have areas that are make for little cliff areas. 
Um, so we need to figure that out. So generally speaking, what I'm thinking is the as you get over this side, it dips down further. Um, and then as you come around here, it builds up a bit more. Um, I'm also thinking that maybe the town goes down like this entire circular area here starts dipping down and maybe it goes down by like two to three blocks or something like that. So it's not anything crazy, but it does add a bit of flow to it. And so I need to do some thinking as to how I want to, the land to truly flow. And I need to make some markers as to what I want it to feel like. And to do that, I think I'm going to have to go get another block to indicate where things are. Um, and then, yeah, I need to do just a bit more thinking. So let me go ahead and do a wee bit of planning here. Um, and then we'll get on in to building. All right, so I needed to do this as a time lapse because I ended up changing a lot. And uh, so you're going to see quite a bit has changed. So I started planning out this lower portion and I was going to uh, full intention of making it a farming area. And then I kind of thought through it a bit more and was kind of essentially landed on the why does it need to be a farming area? Maybe it makes more sense for this area to be more localized around like fishing. Um, and so then I wanted to make it a bit more of an interesting landscape to interact with um, and also act as a, a, an easier means of getting up onto the plateau area. Um, and so you're seeing here that I'm building up these like layers here. And this is essentially one big long slope all the way up to the plateau. And um, it was a pain to build and it was a bit terrifying to have like build everything that we made in the, the previous episode and then go through and essentially tear down like a fourth of it. Um, but I do think that in the end, it's going to be better and uh, it's going to make for a more interesting town. And so this entire area is going to be actually town and it's going to be like a lower income area, not like poor but like mi much more middle class, not a not merchant, but not like a, a poor area. And so I want this area to be focused on fishing. I want it to be focused on more of the general day to day support of the city, like food and all that stuff. The people that are running stalls essentially are living down here um, because they don't they they are surviving in that way, but they're not able to like have an actual store because maybe they don't warrant it. Like you, you don't necessarily need like a full meat store. You could just have a meat stall, if that makes sense. Um, and so these are the people that are going to be living in this area. And so you can see the whole bunch of work, a whole bunch of stuff went into this. And I just had to do it in a time lapse because it was just way too much for me to cover in a single video of just like building with you. Alrighty guys, well, I have done some work. Um, it, <laughs> I say some work, but I've done a lot of work and you can't really tell from up here because yeah, it's just taking a lot more time than I was thinking it would. But of course, I can't make life easier. You can see these two things are new, um, which still rough, but we're going to get to it eventually. Um, yeah, so this is we're getting very close to what I think the end goal is going to be. Um, and eventually, you know, we will, of course, be uh, the goal of this. The goal of this episode essentially was to lay out kind of the final resting place for all this dirt. So then we could make a layer of grass on top. Um, and that will essentially allow us to have some level variation. Uh, as to like, I don't necessarily have to put grass on top of all of this if I want to have the road dip down just a little bit for a little while and come back up just to add a little flair to this area. And that's kind of why I decided to go about this uh, in this way. Now, I have been, of course, as you saw in the time lapse, I did a lot <laughs> of this. And I think I'm going to do a voiceover on that time lapse, so I don't want to speak too much on it. But this definitely changed the outcome of this entire build uh, as to what I was originally thinking it was going to be and what it is going to be now. Now I need to get rid of this building right here 
Uh, honestly, I should probably get rid of this, but I don't know. I just there's a whole lot more planning down that now that needs to take place that ooh, I just need to do that off camera again in this similar vein of what the beginning of this video, um, probably just a time lapse form because man, I this uh, honestly, this takes a long time. It takes <laughs> it takes a long time, um, but I think it's well worth the time investment. So, I mean, as, as as you know, this extends all the way down and stuff. And we've got a road that goes that way. And I just planned this out. I did some of this uh, without having the time lapse and stuff. Uh, a lot of this dirt that's down here and this cliff and this cliff. Um, I just didn't do a time lapse of because I didn't want the time lapse to be too long. Um, so essentially, I want to add a few more of these little things throughout just to give some cliffy variation and I don't think I'm going to make it as dramatic as this. This is what five tall. Yeah, five tall. I don't want it to be like totally like that. I think I'm going to have a few that are like one or two tall comparatively. Um, and then I think when we add the grass and stuff around, I think I'm going to make all of this stay at this dirt level. Um, so it's all like the square is kind of sunk down by one. I think that could be make for a little bit more of an interesting shape uh, and a little bit more interesting experience. This is all, of course, going to be roads and stuff. And then on here is going to be just a house or something like that. I'm not really sure um, why I put this here, but it adds flair, so it's kind of fun. Now, this is something that probably is better to look at down here. So here's the road. We're going to have a nice little curved road, and then we're going to have a bridge that goes all the way over to there. Um, which is going to be entertaining to make. And so this is all, where this stone is at is actually going to be a there's going to be dirt and then there's going to be grass on top of it as well, just like what we're going to do up there. And so the water level is actually the water level is actually right on top of this stone. So this is all this is going to be gravel. I, I was playing around with putting stone over here, but then I decided not to. So the water level is going to be where the stone is. And so this area is going to be two blocks taller. Uh, it's going to be one block taller, actually. And so the edge of this is going to be stone or stone brick or something like that, just to make it uh, so it feels like it's moored up against the place and like they've actually established it. Um, but there is a look see as to why that extends up and is uh, now much more of a hill rather than being flat. I just wanted to add some fun shape to this and to have like a little yeah you've seen some of these things before where uh the cliff is right here and then the water has managed to carve its way into the center i thought it was interesting uh, it's definitely not perfect i just made this last night and uh got the general shape of this and i will say most all of this all of these cliffs and stuff they look very blocky and basic we are definitely going to be going through and not throwing rockets but we're going to definitely be going through and reshaping all of this like you see that diagonal line that's not going to be there ever because we have to one retexture it two i want to add some cliff faces on the side where some dirt and flowers are um, and then of course all the stone and stuff will have stone variations in it so it will look a whole lot better but i thought it was fun to have this because then i think this all could extend down this way as i've marked it out and there isn't going to be anything really over here i don't think um, just some more natural land and maybe a beach um, but I thought it was kind of interesting to have like this walking area. I think that's kind of cool, makes you feel a little bit more immersed. And so I thought I thought it was cool. I thought it was a fun thing. Maybe we'll have like a little tiny crop field or something here. I don't really think a crop field will go here, um, but I think it was cool nonetheless. So you see these two roads and I've rerouted this road. So it's still the same here, but there used to be some buildings right here and I decided to reroute it so this road actually goes down and then back up and so it is just now a big circle um, and these roads feed off of this main road so some of you may be wondering why in the world are we having these roads and stuff and like as i explained down in the time lapse this is all going to be more of this town more houses and stuff but one thing i wanted to do was to make a viewpoint and so dead center of this or essentially dead center is where you're going to be able to see the castle so there'll be some houses and stuff but not, you should be able to see the castle rising up and i thought this would be a really really cool vantage point to be able to view up and just see 
the castle of the town being able to poke up right here. I think that's really cool. Um, and over here... And then here as well, you'll be able to see it over here. Um, it's not going to be as directly aligned, but I did want to have something here. So you have kind of this cliff as your central point. Um, and then there's going to be houses and stuff down along this side here. And then dead in the center here, there will be towns. This area is going to actually have a different build style than up there. Um, it's going to be much more wooden, much more uh, ship based. And I think it's going to be a really cool thing to experiment. Similar to, if you remember the Waystone, um, the build style we had on the Waystone way back yonder, where it was like a pirate theme, it's going to be similar to that, where we have boats influencing the houses and the makeup of the houses, um, because these are going to be maybe poorer people. Not This is not going to be like the poverty level. That's going to be an entirely separate area. But this is going to be a, a slightly lower class area where they don't have as good of materials for like roofs and stuff. So what they can do is they can reuse their boats that are old and worn down to be able to, you know, make up the buildings. And I think that's a really fun concept and uh, really cool. Also, you should definitely check down here. This place is starting to look pretty insane, isn't it? I never really fully realized how big <laughs> this area is until I fly under here and it's absolutely gargantuan. We have achieved quite a bit in these past couple of episodes. And so even though I'm not where I want to be, I am definitely happy with the progress. I think it's good and I think it's going to be really nice. Also, this just allows for a nice vantage point. I don't really know what build is going to go up here. Let me know if you have any build ideas, because I don't think a lighthouse really makes sense. Like maybe this lake is going to be big enough to warrant a lighthouse, but I don't really think you will need something. So if there's anything up here, maybe this is where a, like an astronomy tower could go. That could be kind of cool. It's definitely the highest point. Um, so that could be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know what the sort of idea. I think I'm going to have a road go down this side and then down this side, and then we'll just have houses here and then something like that. Or maybe we'll just have like a central. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't have any ideas. Maybe just a central road that goes down and then houses along the side with side paths and stuff. Who knows? I don't really honestly have that big of a plan, but I thought this was a fun addition, but that is definitely going to do it for this episode, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this, on anything that you think would be beneficial to add. And of course, give me any ideas that you would love to see. Also, if you can see out there, the andesite has changed colors. If you didn't see my post, definitely check it out. There's a post in the community tab. Andesite is no longer a super dark stone. It is now back to the regular old andesite color with our texture on it. And so, guys, if you like the video, leave a like in real life, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, bye-bye.